What's going on guys? This is Barker, back with another NBA video talking about the NBA, and today I'm talking about NBA players about to be traded, about to leave in free agency, whatever you want to call it. I'm talking about the superstars that might potentially not be on their team next season. So some of these players that, you know, can become free agents with player options that I don't think are going to leave. Obviously, number one, John Wall. Even though he's very upset with not being able to play, it's hard to turn down $40 million if you're John Wall. Because no other team is going to give him anywhere near that. The most he's going to get is $20 million. So how is he going to cut his salary in half? How could he, you know, decline that? He's going to accept the $40 million and he's just going to keep doing the Dougie on the bench. Russell Westbrook, obviously also $40 million contract next season, player option. It's very hard to see a world where he doesn't accept that, especially with the way he's been playing on the Lakers recently. You know, he's been super inefficient shooting-wise. No team is going to give him $40-plus million, plus even if he becomes a free agent. He's going to accept that player option, no doubt in my mind, which might end up screwing the Lakers even more. Kyrie Irving, he is kind of a wild card, because most likely he's going to stay with the Nets, but you never know what's going on with Kyrie Irving. He has a player option, and you just never know. Kyrie Irving is the most unpredictable NBA player in NBA history. You don't know what the fuck is going through that kid's head. You have no idea. So I could easily see him just going to the most random fucking team. I could see him just going to OKC for the, for the hell of it. Because Kyrie Irving is that fucking random. But most likely he is going to either accept that player option or become a free agent and sign a longer contract with the Brooklyn Nets. Now here comes the players where the superstars that I think have a good chance of leaving their team. James Harden and Bradley Beal. So first, let me start with James Harden because there's been a lot of buzz about the 76ers being very interested in James Harden, wanting to trade for him before the trade deadline, and they're kind of waning out for him. Which I don't understand, in my opinion, because if I'm the Brooklyn Nets, you're not getting fair value for James Harden if you trade him right now. You just won't. There is no team that will give you what James Harden is worth on an expiring contract given back. You know, the Houston Rockets dealt with it. They did not get the package they deserved for a superstar like James Harden, and the Nets would be in the same boat. They wouldn't get the same back. But if I'm also the Nets and we lose in the first or second round, I don't know if James Harden would really re-sign. You know, it's NBA championship or bust for the Brooklyn Nets this season. They've looked lackluster. They've basically every team that's a title contender, they cannot beat this season. They can beat up on the lower guys. But when it comes to actual title contenders that they play, they get destroyed. They don't look like a top team. Because their paint defense is non-existent. You know, they can score with the best, but their defense needs to step up. And, you know, if I'm James Harden and we lose in the first or second round, I can completely see him going to a team that has the money to sign him to a lucrative deal. Where he can be the main star. Obviously, the main difference will be is that he won't be one of the lower options on the team. When he's on the Nets... He's the third option, scoring-wise, on the Brooklyn Nets team because Kevin Durant, obviously number one, and Kyrie Irving is number two. James Harden is basically just the facilitator on the Brooklyn Nets. If he went to another team, he would have to produce more scoring-wise, and obviously he would get more attention on the offensive end. So can I see him being traded? I, I really don't think he's going to be traded, but can I see him leaving at free agency? Oh, 100% I can Next, we got the Washington Wizards and Bradley Beal. You know, I love the Wizards. Obviously, they haven't looked amazing this season. They looked good. They looked amazing in the beginning of the season. But now, now we're seeing the real Wizards. A lower playoff team that has some good pieces here and there. But are they real title contenders? No. Can they maybe, you know, give another team a run in the first round? Yes, but I don't see them making it out of the second round. I really don't. So, if you're Bradley Beal, even though you've stayed loyal to this franchise for so long, you know, Bradley Beal is not getting any younger. When is he going to take the initiative and try to join a team to win a championship? And 
he, you know, he declined signing a contract extension, just like James Harden with the Wizards. They wanted to sign him to a lucrative extension, but Bradley Beal said no. That is a red flag right there, that he might not want to be a Washington Wizard next season. And like I said, I don't see the Wizards making that much noise in the playoffs. Like I said, first round, I can easily see them making it out of the first round. But second round, I really don't see it. You know, I love how Kuzma has been playing. Keith looks like a superstar. Montrezl Harrell off the bench. Spencer Dinwiddie has been okay. But overall, they just have a good... They have a very deep team. They don't really have another superstar alongside Bradley Beal unless you consider Kyle Kuzma a superstar, which I don't. He can play like a superstar at times, but he's not a superstar. So, will Bradley Beal and James Harden leave in free agency? I see more likely James Harden leaving in free agency than Bradley Beal. He has been loyal for this long, but I can easily see them both leaving and joining a team like maybe the Mavericks. Maybe the Lakers, if they can free up some money. Some top teams that actually have title contention possibilities. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Bradley Beal or James Harden are going to leave their teams or be traded? Let me know in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I make NBA videos all the time. I'm not stopping anytime soon. Road to 400. Peace.